Prophecy D is in the house, y'all. It is time to do a new shoot on my Blu-ray collection. I know, a lot of people are like, it's been a month saying you go do an updated Blu-ray collection video. The reason why I deleted that last Blu-ray collection is because I missed some Blu-rays that I wanted to show you in this collection. So I'm going to reshoot it again. This is a brand new video. And I got a lot of new Blu-rays since the last 2017 Blu-ray collection. I got like 50 something. This one I got like 50 more. So this video is going to be a bit of a long video, so just grab popcorn, pause the video, grab popcorn, and do whatever you want to watch something like this. And guys, hope you like this Deadpool background. I just got it, and we just hang it up, and I'm like, I should use it as a background for this Blu-ray collection video. So guys, I'm going to go for ABC Elder, just like always, so let's start this Blu-ray collection, shall we? Here we go. So the first movie we have is Tank Club Lane, a great thriller. I think this is... A great addition to the Cloverfield franchise. I love the first Cloverfield movie. It's one of the best found footage films. This movie is totally different from the first Cloverfield. But it's in the exact same kind of like verse as the first Cloverfield movie. This movie is one of the best thrillers of 2016. Totally like this movie. John Goodman, great performance. I had to throw these movies on the bed. I hope I can get these back like neatly. But anyway, next movie we have is Ant-Man. Very underrated Marvel film. I think this movie is probably the funnest. And I can't wait for Ant-Man and the Wasp to come out. Uh, Arrival, Dennis Villeneuve. One of the better directors out there. And I really like this movie. This is one of the most different alien invasion films that I've ever seen. It's a great performance by Amy Adams, which she hasn't won anything. Um, alien. Aliens. And Alien Covenant, I have Prometheus in the movie somewhere, but I'm putting it in ABC order, so I put it into P order. But the first Alien is my favorite. The second one is a good sequel. And Alien Covenant, surprisingly underrated movie of 2017. Let me put the movies like that. Okay. 1.21 Jewelux! Back to the Future, I still don't have the second one and the third one, and I should get it to complete the trilogy. I like the first one, though, a lot. Uh, Batman, Batman Returns, Batman Forever, I'm just going to throw it out. Every bad movie, I just throw it on my bed. Um, Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice, I got a new copy because something went wrong with the old copy. When I watch it, I'm just like, this movie's okay, but it wasn't perfect, and it's very disappointing though. And the Lego Batman movie, um, really like this movie, surprisingly underrated animated film, and this hasn't got nominated for the Oscars. The boss baby did. Why? Seriously, it's one of the most disappointing things I've ever seen from the Oscars this year so far. Uh, Blade Runner 2049, um, one of my favorite movies of the year. I would say I kind of switched my number one with Logan, and I made it one of the OCD awards for 2018, but I love this movie. This is visually stunning and better than the first one. Not a fan of the first Blade Runner, so yeah. Uh, Baby Driver, another favorite movie of the year. This is a totally fantastic movie with great music. And Ansel Elgar, Lily James, Jamie Foxx, Kevin Spacey. The cast is fantastic. And Edgar Wright is a stylish director. I think it's better than Scott Pilgrim. If you like coming off age stories and you have not seen The Breakfast Club, I think you are out of your mind. The Breakfast Club, totally a classic. And I'm curious for a sequel to this movie. Like, if they do make a sequel... With the exact same cast, I wonder what it will be about. Maybe they will reunite together, but John Hughes, man, rip. Like, rest in peace, John Hughes. He's one of the greatest high school directors today. The Bourne Legacy, just throw that. Uh, Cars 3, I know I said in my review I liked this better than the first Cars, but when I watch it again, I think the first Cars is better. But pretty decent movie with a really crappy ending, in my personal opinion. Uh, Wilson! Cast away, like Tom Hanks, man, one of the best actors working today. He can, like, be in any movie and he's good in it. Like, if he's in a superhero movie, he'll probably be good. Um, Creed! Stupid Sylvester Stallone impression. One of my favorite Rocky movies in the entire franchise, and I'm so excited for Creed 2. Coming out either this year or next year. Like, Michael B. John announced his day he's filming it, so it's coming out next year. Captain America Civil War, love this movie. One of my all time favorite comic book movies. Like, can't wait for Infinity War. I, I just love Marvel films, and I'm, and I'm going to keep reviewing them leading up to Infinity War. The Cruise, very underrated um, DreamWorks film. There's nothing to say about it, but can't wait for the sequel. Okay, got to speed things up a bit. Dunkirk, 
great steel book. I really like the steel book. I got this for Christmas with another steel book I'm going to show you later. Very underrated Christopher Nolan film. Some people think this movie like nothing happens. I really enjoyed this movie. This is one of the most different war films I've seen. The best part of the movie is Tom Hardy on the plane. It's really intense. It's, 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 I think the only movie that we don't get to see as much character development. Uh, Death Proof, totally my least out of the Quentin Tarantino movies, but I still enjoyed this movie with a pretty good car chase at the end of the movie. Love that car chase. Get in the club, get in together. The Die Hard movies, the first one's good, the second one's underrated, the third one's great, and the fourth one was very over the top, I like it, and I'm never gonna get the fifth one. Because that movie sucks balls. Don't Breathe, one of the most surprising thrillers of 2016. Really enjoyed this movie, and Sam Raimi produced it, I think, who produced The Evil Dead, which I love this director. Deep Water Horizon, one of my favorite disaster films now of all time with Mark Warbeck. Fantastic movie, and one of the best sound effects ever. Like, it's one of the most realistic, too. Uh, the Departed, Martin Scorsese, one of my favorites. Uh, Edge of Tomorrow, which I'm so surprised they're making a sequel to it. One of my surprising movies ever. Uh, Fantastic Beasts of Way to Find Him. Still a time for the sequel to this, but totally my least favorite out of the Wizarding World, but I still liked it. Uh, the Fast and Furious movies. I have only the fourth one to the seventh. I have not got the eighth one, and I'm never... I got the first one duty, but I'm never gonna get the second one and the third one because I suck. Uh, Fanfastic, probably one of the most disappointing CBR films, but I still enjoyed it for what it was. It was trying to be something different. Finding Nemo and Finding Dory, the steelbook. Love Finding Nemo and Finding Dory, pretty surprisingly good sequel. Very underrated too. I have mostly underrated movies in my collection. Uh, The Good Dinosaur, another underrated Pixar film and nice steelbook. Uh, Gravity, one of the most beautiful looking films ever and one of the most realistically space movies I've ever seen. Like the look of space feels like they actually did film this movie in space. It's insane. Okay, next pile. This is probably the biggest pile so I hope I don't tip it. Um Get Out, John Peelman. He's a comedic director and he directed a horror film and I thought it was gonna be shit. This movie's fantastic. I can't wait to see more of him. Uh who you gotta call? Ghostbusters. Um let me put these ones on the floor, so nothing can tip over. Green Lantern, just frisbee, haha. <laughs> you... Ghost Rider, haha. <laughs> frisbee. Man, I don't care if they're broken because these movies suck. I don't even know why I bought them. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two. Yes, this one most disappointing film in the OZD was, but I still enjoyed the film. There are some enjoyable elements, but I could agree it is a bit disappointing. We wanted more from this movie, but still, it's a pretty fun movie. Godzilla! A lot of people do not like this movie. I think this is surprisingly underrated. With one of the best monster entrants I've ever seen in the film. How to Train Dragon 2, one of the best DreamWorks movie of all time, in my personal opinion. Hardcore Henry, if you're like a first person shooter fan, you'll like this movie because this movie took place in first person. It's amazing. Very underrated too. Uh, the Hobbit Trilogy, we got Unexpected Journey, Desolation of Smaug, and Battle of the Five Armies. Love them both. Very underrated trilogy. Everyone's like, uh, it's okay. I love them. They're fantastic to watch in the theater. Independence Day, G'day boys, we're back, or I'm back. <laughs> very cheesy film, very disappointing sequel though. Um, In the Heart of Sea, very underrated Ron Howard film, and I'm very worried about... Solo Star Story, I'm hoping at least be fun. Inception, one of the best films of all time. My favorite Christopher Nolan film, I think it's better than Dark Knight. Like, the hallway fight scene was amazing. Ah, uh, one of my favorite steelbooks in the entire collection. It, this steelbook looks amazing. I also got this for Christmas with Dunkirk. Look at this steelbook, how amazing it looks. Look at the art, it's amazing. And one of my favorite horror films nearly of all time now. It's really good. Watch this movie if you can, and Bill Starsgard. I wish the Oscars nominate for Breakthrough Actor, because Bill Starsgard had to win. He won the OTD Awards for Best Breakthrough. Um, I, Robot, Will Smith. Will Smith makes some underrated movies. I, Robot was actually a lot of fun. Inside Out, one of the best Pixar films of all freaking time. Loves.
this movie a lot. Uh, Harry Potter Chamber of Secrets. Uh, Hacksaw Ridge. Really enjoyed this film. Mel Gibson, great direction. One of the better war films in a very long time. The Hate for A, Quentin Tarantino, another underrated Quentin Tarantino film. I Am Legend, another underrated Will Smith movie, one of my favorite films. Uh, Insidious, 1 and 2, I got 3 on DVD, and the fourth one I reckon sucks, but these two movies are fantastic horror films. The second one's surprisingly underrated. Uh, the Jungle Book, one of the best Disney live action films, like, ever. I can't wait for the line to see what Don Favreau are going to do with it. Jaws, nothing to say about it, but classic. Uh, Jurassic World, very nice slipcover, and I'm not tough for Fallen Kingdom, but this is a pretty decent movie. John Wick, I have not seen John Wick Chapter 2, I feel so dumb not watching John Wick Chapter 2, but John Wick, one of my surprisingly fantastic action films with Keanu Reeves. Whoa, stupid Keanu Reeves in person. Whoa, shit. Um, Kingsman to go in circle. Uh, okay, sequel. Kong Skull Island, I know, I put this movie on my worst list because I haven't watched that movie again since I've done my review and then I watched it again and I'm like, I enjoyed it. So I'm cutting that off, cutting that off my worst list. So I'm going to put, replace it with Darwin Kid the Long Haul. And Kong Skull Island, really surprisingly fun movie. I love the look of King Kong, he looks amazing. Can't wait to see them fight and I can't wait to see the new Godzilla film. King Alpha Legend on a Sword, nice steelbook, decent movie. Uh... Kick-Ass, love that movie. Lone Survivor, another Mark Wahlberg disaster movie directed by Peter Berg, who directed Deep Water Horizon. Gotta keep going, I've got like 8 minutes and I've got like 2 more piles here. Logan, my favourite movie of the year. Yeah, I replaced Blade Runner with Logan. And the winner of the OTD was for 2018. Congratulations, Logan. Lights Out, very underrated horror film and very crave one too. Uh, The Lion King cannot wait for the remake. I know a lot of people don't want to see a remake of this. This movie is like the very first movie I've ever watched. So this movie is one of my special movies in my life. Love The Lion King. I can watch it now and I still go love it. Lex B. Castle is alright. It's a fun movie. Alright. Mad Max Trilogy with Mad Max Fury Road. Love the first two movies in the Mel Gibson. Not the third one. Mad Max Fury Road one of the best action films. In like the 21st century, in my opinion. Monster House, a childhood movie. Uh, Men in Black 3, a bit forgettable, but I have this with a PS3 combo. Uh, Man of Steel, underrated Superman film. I actually really enjoyed that film a lot. Henry Cavill should get some more praise, I reckon. Moana, the best animated film of 2016. Uh, the Nice Guys, freaking love this movie, and I'm so shocked I didn't put this movie in my top 10 list, and I can't wait if they do make a sequel to it. Noah, speaking of Russell Crowe, underrated Darren Aronofsky film. And I watched Mother recently, and I didn't like it. Prometheus, not that great in my opinion. Like, it looks great, but, I don't know, it's, it's something about it I don't like. Pacific Rim, can't wait for Pacific Rim Uprising, I reckon that movie's gonna be a lot of fun. But, I love the first one. Uh, one of the most underrated Christopher Nolan films, The Prestige. If you have not seen this film, this stars Hugh Jackman and Christian Bell, both dueling magicians. And one of the most underrated twists as well. It's a fantastic movie. The Revenant, my favorite Leonardo DiCaprio performance of all time. And I'm so glad he won Best Actor. This is one of the most glorious movies I've seen with the last movie I'm going to show in my collection. Uh, Red. I gotta go quick. Sully, Tom Hanks, underrated movie, loved it. Sinister, very underrated horror film. I have mostly underrated movies in my collection, as I said again. Maze Runner, Scorch Trials, I love the Death Cure a lot. But that one's good, and I have the first Maze Runner on Blu-ray. Uh, DVD, sorry. Suicide Squad, nice steelbook, and I like this movie, I don't care. A lot of fun. Spider-Man Homecoming, the best Spider-Man film to date, in my personal opinion. Uh, Star Wars The Force Awakens, and Star Wars, uh, Rogue One, A Star Wars Story. Star Wars The Force Awakens, great, can't wait, I can't wait to get The Last Jedi on Blu-ray. Rogue One, A Star Wars Story, I liked it. A lot of people think it's just, uh, it was alright. 
Um, the Sixth Sense, one of the best M. Night Shyamalan films to date. Love that movie a lot. I can't wait to see, um, Split. Oh, I have to be careful with this post. I can't wait to see Split and Unbreakable come together. I think it's called Glass, which is telling the story about the villain of Unbreakable. Like, I can't wait to see how it goes. The Sapphire is an underrated Australian film with Jessica Malboy. It's really, actually pretty good. Jessica Malboy actually didn't do bad in the film. Southpaw, very underrated Jake Gyllenhaal performance. The Spongebob movie, Sponge Out of Water. I loved Spongebob when I was a kid and I don't mind this movie. Sausage Party, uh... Every time I watch it, I feel so disturbed by it. You know what scenes I'm talking about. Split, my favourite M. Night Shyamalan film ever with The Sixth Sense. This movie's amazing. As I said before, I can't wait to see Unbreakable and this movie come together. It's gonna be awesome. Superman Returns. Sin City. Freaking love this movie. One of the best graphic novels adaptations ever. I haven't got Danny Kill for I should get it because I don't mind that movie either. Toy Story 1 and 2, two of my childhood classics. Love them too. I got three on DVD and I can't wait for Toy Story 4. Terminator 2 Judgment Day, one of the best childhood movies I've ever seen in my life. My dad showed me this movie when I was like seven and I loved it. And I still love it till this day. One of the best action movies of all time. Terminator Judgment is not good, but not still good. Okay. Taken 1 and Taken 2 to steal. First one's great, the second one's not good, and the third one, I'm not bothering. Total Recall, the remake, an actual okay remake, but I should get the Arnold Schwarzenegger one too. The Visit, biggest surprise of him, not Shyamalan. Like, one of the biggest surprises by him. War for the Planet of the Apes Steelbook. This steelbook looks amazing. And this is probably the best Planet of the Apes movie in the trilogy, totally. Love the bed in the first two. The Witch, the blind buy that I have. I watched it and it was so good. Very underrated. People should see it. I'm going to tell you Joy, one of the best performances by her. World War Z, I love zombie films. This is a fun movie and I can't wait to see what the sequel will come up with. Wonder Woman. Nothing to say about it, but biggest surprise of the DC universe ever. Gal Gadot was born to play this role. Congratulations for best actress, by the way. The Wolverine. Yep, very Android Wolverine film. And the last Blu-ray in my collection is Wolf Creek, one of the most realistic, disturbing films in my entire collection. Watch this, don't watch this film with your friends because they will get disturbed, that's for sure. Okay guys, before I end this Blu-ray collection quickly, I got these box sets to show, I forgot to show right now. Um, first, the Star Wars The Complete Saga. Love the look of this box set. It's amazing. It includes the prequels and the original trilogy. Of course, the original trilogy, one of my favorite all time movies of all time. And the prequels, I only like the third one. It's very decent, but very nice box set. And the last box set I got in this Blu ray collection is the Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, the Ultimate Edition box set. If you want to see the inside of it, I have my Blu ray hunting video, the Sanity one. It was a lot of fun to do. And yeah. Really like this box set, and I know I own a lot of copies of Chamber of Secrets. I got the actual Blu-ray, I got the DVD, and I got this. And everyone's like, isn't Chamber of Secrets your favorite Harry Potter movie? Well, I would say favorite from my childhood. I'll give it that, but we really like this box set. So guys, that is it. That's my Blu-ray collection for 2018. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. A lot of fun video, and I have a lot of Blu-rays. And next year, I'll probably have to do it again, and I'm probably going to get as more Blu-rays as possible. So guys, thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you enjoy it, and if you want to do your own Blu-ray collection video, go ahead. It's going to be a lot of fun. So guys, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, and have a nice day.